Chinese diesel heater installs. Here we go. All right, $79 on Black Friday. Not too bad. Big list of Chinese supplied parts. And then this is what we're going to use to try to send it through the wall. Let's show that. I'm going to mount it on the side of the workbench right here. And then their attempt is to pop straight through the wall over there, right beneath. The window. So the plan is to use some of these 90 degree brackets right there, two of them, but I'm not sure the height. So we got to figure out where the hole goes, get that done, and then that'll determine the height we put on the sidewall. Here's the window that it is going to go under, and it's about 18 inches under the window. So let's take a peek and see where that lands. Get the hole going, we're going to use one of these long 18 inch drill bits on the old M12 from the outside. Let me show you the plan. So, this is going to go on the outside stainless steel through hull exhaust fitting for Chinese diesel heater off Amazon. And on the outside, that's all you're going to see. Then that'll connect. This goes on the inside through the wall. This is type B gas vent. Purchased at the local Menards. Double walled. Chinese provided exhaust. It just barely slips on. will run through there adjustable non-adjustable three inch storm collar this is going to trim it off on the inside so it's going to be like this the wall's got spray foam in it so this is going to cover the cavity clear out the spray foam it's going to be on the outside all right let's we'll see what happens let's go drill a hole let's see we can drill this pilot hole from the outside with this. That'll allow us to go on the inside, drill our four inch hole for our three inch pipe, and then clear out the insulation, come back out here, and then inch and a half hole saw for that stainless steel through hole fitting, we'll go right here. So we figured 18 inches down from the bottom of the window. I don't want it to land on one of these ribs incorrectly, so I'm going to center it right at 18. Not exactly straight, but it'll work. I got us through. We'll see where that is. All right. All right, hole saws. That's a whole other topic. Um, if you're going to buy one, buy a set. These are Master Force. doesn't matter. But buy the Universal Arbor that can change between different saws. Of course, six, four and a half, four, three and a half, and two and a half, and your three inch B vent, say B right there, 
requires a four inch hole saw. These things are kind of genius how they work. So there's a thread in the arbor, that threads into the hole saw. And then there's these two ears that go in to hold the hole saw in place. But they got to be lined up, of course. There you go. Let's drill a four inch hole. So back inside, our hole came out just about where we want it. Right there. So now we got a pilot hole. So we drill a four inch hole here. Get the insulation cleaned out of there. And then uh, we'll drill our inch and a half on the outside, which I don't think I have. All right, we switched to the M18 for this one. N12 just felt a little small. There's the spray foam. And then straight across is our hole through the outside. So now we just got to drill our inch and a half hole on the outside, pop it through, get a little bit of spray foam cleaned off. We'll be good to go. Check out this thing. This is an arbor extension for the four inch hole saw. This is a pilot hole. I think I said inch and a half, but with these fittings, outside diameter is right at inch and a half. So I'm going to go with inch and five eighths on the hole saw. It's just a sixteenth of an inch bigger. Should be pretty good. All right, back outside with our inch and five eighths hole saw. And then I'm just using the pilot hole that matches the quarter inch tip on the bit. There we go. That's pretty good. second seal on it. Just a little gap in the rubber. I did buy two, so I'm going to buy two seals. And depending on the length of the um, exhaust, you know, I still have to clamp this on, but I may be getting a longer one. Let's go see what it looks like inside. That's all the way in. Let's see what it looks like inside. Actually, not bad at all. Has to be clamped outside. I did order some 90 degree elbows for these. It's almost perfect. So there's the wall thimble. It actually finishes out quite nice, but it's loose. So I'm gonna use some inch and a half T15 head screws. One, two, three, pre-drill and put those in. That should tighten it up nicely. All right, that part's done. Three screws, nice and solid. That's not going anywhere. 
So we just got to wait on the 90s here. Those are on order. Get a 90 here, and I think I'm going to have to come three or four more inches. So I ordered a five-foot piece. This one will have to come out. I'll replace it with the five-foot, and then uh, cut it where we need it and make it fit. Fast forward a couple days, and we've got it mounted. The um, 90 degree elbows right down here for the exhaust. Really cleaned it up. Allowed me to attach to the exhaust that came with the unit, and then it runs out through this Type B gas vent. I'm going to add flame retardant insulation in here. Uh, we've got the collar installed, and then with the fresh air, I went forward. Came up to the front of the heater, and then I just zip tied it with the old zip ties, mounted to the wall, and a couple of number 10 bolts mount it up. That's how I did mine. It's fired for the first time. Let's use some red dyed off-road diesel for this. Pretty interesting, isn't it, Mama Kitty? I have no idea how much it takes. We'll call it a gallon. I can see it on the side. It looks like it's about a gallon. Close enough. Okay, we're gonna fire this thing together. Hooked it up to a lithium iron phosphate. Uh, 100 amp hour mini battery, just temporary. And it immediately starts, turns the display on. I don't know if that display stays on all the time or not. So we're going to figure that out. Instead of bothering my way through the Chineseium, Chinese translated to English. Manual, we're just going to push a button and turn it on. So the fan runs for one minute and then the pump starts. The fan picks up speed just a little bit and now we can let the clicking begin. Alright, there we go at the 14 minute mark, so we started at eight, so we're six minutes, almost seven minutes in. The glow plug light came on, and I can smell the diesel burning, and you can hear that the ignition has begun, or the combustion has begun. Pump, pump is slowly ramping up. Let's see what it looks like outside. All right, outside, we've got the jet engine sound, so, we must be. Yeah, there's a hot exhaust coming out. All right, now she's chooching. Actually, it puts out a really good amount of air. Way more airflow than expected. Out these. So that must be time. One OF. I have no idea what that means. Lock, so that's probably administrative password. Back to time. And my. No. Well, I guess heater control is in Hertz. Four point goes way down. Well, well, we want her on full blast, so let's crank her back up. Five point four hertz. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. 
hurts. Let's get some fancy gizmos going here. Like two, three twenty, three thirty-five. Let's do this. Three sixty. Well, that's getting warm. Check the exhaust. Four hundred in the pipe. Twenty-six in the pipe. Outside of the pipe isn't too warm. Seventies. Wow, the inside of the pipe is super hot. Let's see if I can get this. Four sixty, four sixty-five. See the exhaust tube running through it. That is warm. But on the outside, it looks good. All right, we'll wrap this one up. I'd say it's a success. We've been, been going thirty-one minutes. A lot of airflow. Surprisingly warm. The exhaust gets a little hotter than I thought it would. That uh, type V vent, vent pipe, I think we're going to be okay. In closing, um, exhaust gets surprisingly hot, like temperatures in the 400s. So you've got to have type V. I would be, I would not want to be doing this with standard single wall vent pipe. Um, my four inch hole that I have in the wood, it's not contacting the pipe, but it still makes me nervous. Uh, that being said, we're going to run it, supervised for a while and see if there's any scorching on the wood. I'd say the hardest part is figuring out how to vent the damn thing. The 90 elbow helped. Um, I probably could have put a couple inch extension coming down before I put the 90 on. Some people talk about taking this fresh air intake and venting it outside so you can get fresh air from the outside. And I didn't think that was necessary. I'm in a shop with multiple overhead doors that leak plenty of air, so there's plenty of fresh air in here. Um, yeah, I don't know. One more thing to have, I guess, make a noise, but it's a lot of heat. Surprising amount of airflow coming out of it. Alright, that's it. This will wrap it up. See you next one.